All right. <laughs> I said, I said, fat niggas wearing black is like, uh, what is it called? Slimwear. Shapewear. So if fat niggas are white, are they bold and beautiful? Or how does that work? Wait, whoa. I'm just saying. Shapewear don't make you bold. Wait. I'm just saying, you said you black, you try to be bold, and I'm seeing, so I'm, I said, wearing all black. <laughs> when fat slimwear. people wear all black, it's like it's like them wearing slimwear. I do feel skinnier, but I know I, I'm not. I think if people can't see, like, your rules. Yeah. They can't see white, anything. You can see everything. It's incognito. It's just all black. My sister, I love like, wearing she all She's never going to a white party because she hate to wear all white because she, she feels like she fat. But I don't a white is an exposing ass color, though. Uh, but I, I don't really go. I haven't been to all white party in a long time. I don't think that's a young nigga thing. That's our um, parents. We're thing. not young niggas anymore, though. No, we're yeah. about to get They're invited to. No, I'm talking about like forty five. We about to be invited to it. I think that's like forty five plus. Oh, like cabarets. Yeah, cabarets. I we, like um, cabarets. My mom used to make me go to them. What I age is cabaret age? I think I'd be forty plus. I think higher. You think higher? I'm I'm giving forty three. I, I don't think know what a cabaret you, is. No. It's like an old hit party. Like, yeah, it's but like everybody a, bring their own food to a, to the party, and they sit at the table and they dance and <laughs> get dressed up. Bro, not trying to go to that shit. <laughs> yeah, we're, it's, it's like what? Some slavery. <laughs> Yo, bring your hush puppies to the cat. Hey, come on now, bring it on down to the. Yeah, this is talking about like niggers. They be like this. They be like this. They be like <laughs> what? what? I swear, be like you watermelon, chicken, and Yo. cotton picking nigger. I'm like, Yo, and all the kids doing shit too. I'm like. You see that tweet? Yes. I hate these little niggas. Oh, it was, oh, it was a TikTok? <laughs> I know someone. Yeah. Chicken, I know you know they got to break it down like, yo, what the fuck? I could never. I don't know why they made watermelon like a, a nigga like thing. Watermelon? watermelon's amazing. I love watermelon. But I why like is this like a too. black man thing? Why is it like they a nigga thing? They say we just eat it and just put the seeds out. But now watermelon seedless. I haven't eaten a watermelon that had seeds in a long time. You bugging. I'll be finding them. Really? I don't trust seedless watermelon. I mean, now it is kind of weird like for them not to have seeds, it. but I eat them seedless though. You like if I if grapes? I can't find them, yeah, if I can't, yes. find, I don't eat grapes. I will. I just don't dog? buy. Them. I you eat know, blueberries. Dogs can eat grapes; they die from a grape, right? I didn't know that. Yeah. Dogs can eat grapes from. If a dog eat a grape, they die. I have no clue. I, I, I didn't. or chocolate, right? <laughs> grapes, chocolate, and raisins. I have no raisins clue. or raisins. They said either, it said something about the grape and the seed inside of it. It makes sense. Mess with there or something. Niggas be feeding their dogs cheese sticks. Yo. <laughs> Shit. My dad used to buy my old dog like a whole platter from the poppy store. Like he would buy himself a platter and the dog would get a platter. That's kind of crazy. I swear to God, it was a chihuahua. Yo, that's kind of crazy. I, I don't like let my dog, my dog bougie too. Yeah. I let my dog eat like perfect. Like you eat, Do you feed it chicken? Feed it, feed him chicken? I'll cook shit? him regular chicken breast, like boil it and then like cut it up and give that it to That nigga wants some like Lowry's, nigga. Brown rice. You, you ever accidentally Lowry's? lock your dog in the room for the day while you were out at work and then come back? No, but I went I'm to Jamaica that. for a wedding <laughs> and I had my son and my ex, cause they had to stay at the house or whatever. Yeah. And I, I swear to y'all, I woke up like seven in the morning in Jamaica. I was like, something is wrong. I said, let me call my son. I kept calling him. Calling. I not said, yo, the where the dog sisters. at? He not said, I don't sisters. know. The fucking Rocky was outside running around the streets because my ex <laughs> came home five in the morning drunk yes. and, let, and let him go out to the bathroom, but locked the door and he can get the back door, right? He can't make oh, in. Shit. So after a while, he snuck out the side of the house trying to get out, you know, get back in the house and he just run around the city. That's and then I live in a quiet move. little yeah. neighborhood. He rode down for like two hours, came back and still in the step. As he should, he knew like where home was. Yeah, he crazy. was like, it, it ain't shit out here for me. Yeah. Niggas Literally, said, I I know know where niggas. you saw your boyfriend at. Let him roam. A dog is find a way home. Yeah. That shit is real. You it's think like niggas, <laughs> all niggas know where home is? We are the dogs. <laughs> I hate, I kind of don't like that sense. Why? It's true. I know, but like, it's also like, I mean, I'm a nigga it's, though, so it works, for, it works for niggas. It's, it's, it's very true. true. Yeah. Yes. It works very for, it works, if I was a chick, I'd be like, that, that's, that's crazy. He'd be back. But, welcome to your heart out. Welcome. I'm your host, Ish. Yes. I did it. Yeah. First live show, Dale. First live show, count the four, Dale. Oh, Completed. I, I, I got the cups going. That's a real clap. That was great. He's a clap. Well, that was great. Thank you to Learn Line and my producers. No. Yeah. They done brought me a long way. They did nothing. Drag me along. Did absolutely absolutely nothing. I said, get on stage. I'm talent. not going to help you. He said, go on be the talent. Uh, yeah, I, I said. I said, I said, Line 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 Where's Line like I'm in the back. Drinking, <laughs> yeah. getting drunk. I, I, I do something. I'm yeah. the chairman. Get your I'm ass over here. I'm in the bed getting Move drunk as hell, buying people shots. We was sure. having a good time. Yeah, sure. I said, I said, Larry, don't go far. I'm like just looking around for him. I can't find. I was doing him. photography. 
I was everywhere. I need him to be right there because you know he'd be like this. I went to the back. Nigga w- came to me. He said, "Yo, how do I get upstairs to the balcony?" I, <laughs> no, said, I, was, I wasn't playing. I got me a good balcony shot. He I, had was, a I said, "Go ahead, and take them steps over there." Yeah, no. Let I me tell you was, one thing though. Uh, live shows definitely go by super fast. Yes. Yeah. Like that was like a crazy thing for me. Yeah. Like, how how fast did it feel? Like give it a time frame. It literally felt like it was like twenty three minutes. Yeah, like my Jordan yeah. year, my Jordan show. That's how yeah. I felt. It, it, do, it do, it do feel fast. It was uh, so fast. Uh, I feel like I, I went out there. Hour and a half. So it was an hour, about 20, 30 minutes, something yeah. like that. Um, but you know, black people are always late. Yes. yes. You tell them six thirty. Yes. Them niggas said eight thirty. And that's why you tell them six thirty. And we told them six thirty, and they still do it eight thirty. Imagine if you would have told them doors at seven thirty. Yes, like right beforehand. Show wouldn't have started till nine forty. We had ten minutes That's up there. Fact. Yes, yep. but it, it was fun. Yeah. I think that um, when I first went out, I was so nervous. I didn't know what to do. I was like stuck a little bit. Like I'm scared. Of I didn't, the crowd. didn't look like it. I felt nervous, but then I start looking in the crowd, seeing people I know, and I felt comfortable. Like oh, I know you. A little bit more familiar. I know you. Yeah. yeah it's like, oh, all right. And then like. I know you. The love was good. Like when you, you know, everybody it. was excited. And stuff. People love you. Like, are you? Are you? Why are you so surprised, surprised by that? I, I mean, a lot of people like you and love you, I, and come support do. you. Yeah, a lot of people don't. But yeah. what I'm gonna do so about wait, it? <laughs> how do you? How do you feel about doing it again? Possibly. Um, Where are your I would, thoughts on that? I would love to do a live show again. I would never do a live show with anyone else ever again. Heard you. Someone okay. that's not a part of my network. I think everybody just have yeah. different ideas of how things are supposed to go. Someone's a part of the network because at first you kicked us off. You kicked us uh, off first. I think doing something with your, the people in your network, we all have the same vision. We all want the same things. We all also, want to see each other to communicate. Sign, Communication shine. is a lot easier when you have somebody that's like right there. You know, you got to see them often. It's like yeah. I have to communicate with you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's important to communicate when it is when it's an issue. But I think it's more so when you, everyone is the, everyone is on the same page of what they want the outcome to be of the show. Right. There's no way that you shouldn't do a show with somebody that you don't yeah. even agree. Yeah, you know I mean, agree Agreed. on because like I like to do things for my supporters. Yep. I'm not like looking for a bunch of money right now. And some people want to do it for the money part. Like yeah, yeah having money and making money is all great and all that, right? But it doesn't give you genuine. When you just like, yeah. I'm here yeah. for the money. It's like, I'm not about to make you pay for a picture with me. I'm not about to make you like, you know, I'm, it's certain things I'm just not going to do. I just want to support you because you ain't worth a ticket. But at least I can do yeah. is come as a picture a, with you and be nice. You as a mean? brand, like, that's why we never charge for meet and greets because yes. we, are, we are appreciative. <laughs> yes. So it's yes. like, yeah. thank you for coming. Uh, maybe one day when we have to do like a thousand room places or two thousand, you like when it's super big, we don't, we can't do it. Yes. But also it's just like, I still will be trying to get pictures with everybody. I think it's the best thing when you let people know, like, I'm just like you. I'm not up here and you're down here. I'm just, I, I literally do my podcast for fun. I do it for fun. I do it to be genuine. My shit is not scripted. Yeah. I'm not trying to make every, I'm not trying to say the most cliche thing to go viral. Like, this is like literally Yeah, we pay to do this shit. Mm-hmm. You know, like, and I feel like the payoff for me is people supporting it, people coming out to see it. Yeah. And, you know, people work hard for that money. Enjoying so I find you interaction with your, with your fan base is absolutely. And, and you get a lot of feedback as well. Like, you're talking to them, they might say each, I love how you dress. Cause I'm the baddest bitch to dress the podcast. Come on, who now. we talking about? Hey. Like the outfit hey. was given, right? The outfit uh, was given on stage. I posted a pic and I got a lot of DMs like, "Oh, I like her fit." Yes, yeah. right now. I came out like a star. Right. <laughs> yes, you did. For real. Shining so I think that I think that yeah, I would never do a um, a live show with anyone that's not on my network ever again. I mean, and then, I mean, I feel like like I told y'all earlier, like women empowerment is not real to a certain extent. Like some women don't care. <laughs> To really do stuff to be like, let's build up, let's build each other up, and let's help each other out. I feel yeah. like some people do that shit to like help them out, yeah, and then try to shit on you. So that whole situation, doing a uh, live show with somebody else, it would never ever happen again. And I wasn't getting super detailed about it, but honestly, I don't give a fuck. So I don't know. So yeah. that, what did that's you? What did you? What did, know that what did you learn? What did you learn? What did you? I learn? mean, I learned what, what I really learned is. Although I was asked to do the show three times, I did not do the show three times. Not because I didn't want to do a live show, but more so because I'm just building a brand. When I was asked to do the show, I was seven months in yeah. of podcasting. Yeah. Now, I think Stormy was like four years in podcasting. I, she did shows before. I didn't care to do a show yet because I was still trying to build my brand and make sure 
you know, I was doing what I wanted to do. It right. was never about being afraid to do a live show, but it's like I don't gotta run out and hop and get on the same level as everybody else. Like it's not yeah. that deep for me. Y'all wasn't pushing me to do it, so I felt I didn't feel the need to have to do a live show. Right. So I didn't want to do it originally, period. So I feel like once I gave in to being asked to do the live show three times, I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. And I think when we got also, I think sometimes the end, people could sometimes people can um you know sway you. Yes. And and you might have like a moment where you're like, actually, yeah, maybe I could. And it's it's kind of like, you know, you got to tell yourself like remember the you know, your plan. The mission. Everybody's exactly. mission, everybody's plan is different. And that's what I think I learned the most I know is that my plan and and her plan was totally different because yeah. she wanted to do it for the money, I guess, which what she as she said. I didn't want to do it for the money. I wanted to be genuine and have some fun. Yeah. And because we were just on two different it's missions, yeah. because of two different missions, it just didn't work out as planned. You yeah, know, so everything have, starts full of force. Some you know? people have different intentions going into things. Different intentions. Yeah. And I think I was also being genuine when I said yes, because I thought it was going to really be some kind of woman empowerment, team up, let's have some fun. But mm. at the end of the day, before the show went on, it just wasn't fun no more. It yeah. wasn't fun. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting for... How to look down on me as if I, her following was bigger. I wasn't expecting that. Because mm. I never asked her to do a show. So if my following was so small, then why would do a show with me? That was right. the question I just didn't understand with the whole situation. Yeah. So if you want to do a show with me and I'm so beneath you, but what we'll each your heart out at 27K? I don't know what that podcast said. But what I'm seeing is I did that in a year. So if I can take one step and do what you did in four steps, I'm growing quick. Oh, yeah. I'm moving fast. I, I feel I'm, 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 I'm winning the race if we want to put it in years. Let's not, like, don't do that. Yeah. So the big dog me was crazy. But listen, you know what? I still have all the love, and I hope that everyone's successful. There's enough space for all us to grow out here and be great. Agreed. Well, I'm saying when you try to make me feel like I'm smaller than, that's when I'm kind of like, where the woman empowerment shit go? I thought we were going to have some fun. So yeah. it was that interesting. Said, I would never do a podcast with anyone else that's not my network ever again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look at me and Lionel. Yeah, yeah. Lionel go. I'm not, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, you know, I'm not. I'm not mad at I it. I feel that. Like it's not. It's not. You know what I mean? Like, and the thing is, like, people are listening. They don't quite understand, and mm -hmm. it's not for them to understand. It's just your your pure feeling and your pure thoughts. So it's it's just like, yeah, I understand that. Like you saying what you want to do, yeah. and I think what you did with this whole thing is you learned. And that is literally the whole point of all of this. Yes. Podcasting, starting something new, like whether it's business ventures or you just doing it for fun or whatever the case is, you're learning throughout it and, yes. you know, take it from it. So this is what yeah. you, this is what you gather from this whole experience is like, no, I'm not really trying to work with anybody because it's I'm, a little bit tougher when you, it's just a lot. You know, I just your very never, first ever. show, you, you have to deal with and other people's. You know, tending to their likeliness while also telling them this is what I want to do. Like it's it's not easy. That is, that not. is not easy, especially it was when it's so your much. Friends. And I think with the the first live show, I wanted to be excited for it. And it was like right beforehand, it was just too much going on. I was like, I can't be excited for the first live show. I had to go on the first live show with tension. No one mm -hmm. wants to feel like that. That first yeah. live show. And yeah. I wanted to just really enjoy it. And I couldn't one hundred percent enjoy it because I'm like, I don't know what may happen. Yeah. So I mean, I wasn't one hundred percent right in everything that happened. But I still feel like I never not one time said anything negative to that person. Let them try to feel less than. And yeah. I feel like as a woman, I'm never ever going to talk down to nobody make myself feel better. Yeah. Because I'm confident enough that what I do, I'm great at. So taking it away from somebody else, I just wouldn't have got anything out of it. And Agreed. that's why mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm done with the situation. I wish Stormy all the success and back to Isha Heart out. So yeah, thanks for that. I'm happy with the live show, y'all. So yeah, that was fun. So, that was yeah. fun. so outside of that, because yes, um, you know, we was we all witnessed it and but the, nobody could tell yeah no yeah, I, I i know i thought it, i thought it went really really well like which is good everybody had a good time the the crowd the definitely crowd was turned up definitely had a good time the they crowd had drinking. a mic that i didn't know about because they was a lot of shit. yeah, yeah they had they, 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 i'm, I'm they glad had the empathy their mic it was just the <laughs> yeah. whole whatever they were saying was just i'm glad it was like um something that could be solved for the show because yes. I like I was telling you before the show I was like you know this is about the people now yeah. you know what I'm saying like the day of the show it's, it's, about, it's, it's for the people because yeah. if I buy tickets to come see you I don't give a fuck who you mad at you know what I'm saying I don't care who you had yeah, you know I, mean? yeah. so, I got, so I got this this I got this shit I gotta listen this is daytime off you know yeah. it was a Friday they like 
I want to I want to see a show. So we are gonna you know, have some y'all fun. Did a great job. Y'all did no, a really and, good you job. Know, that was another thing. Doing a show on a Friday, it'd be hard for people to get there. Traffic is traffic in Philly is crazy as shit. Let me just say yeah. that. I'm yeah, over, yeah, I'm over Philly. Yeah, I people had to go Philly. home, get dressed, yeah. come back. So it's not. It ain't easy. You it know? was a lot, and I'm I'm, yeah. I'm just happy everybody took a took a chance and came out because you know sometimes I'm like I ain't going outside. Yeah, I think that's that's traffic. I'm like I ain't doing it then. Fuck that. That's yeah. how I be. We know. <laughs> we know he was rushing us to get down here my bad yo i wasn't even um i just talked about what we were talking about and i forgot to look at the everything notes. else so well, let, well we're, we're not done talking about the show okay yes keep talking yeah, let's get to that, that was, your, that that was have, your first live show yeah, let's, get to, let's get to the great parts too yeah let's get to all the good shit go look at aisha's uh instagram for the for some photos we're gonna have some more photos yes yeah, but more photos. you came you came out stage and you came out looking real natural real real like i'm Thank ready you. to do this shit I think I'm on stage with y'all a lot. Got me like Lionel cussed me out so many times on stage, and now I feel <laughs> I like curse you out on stage multiple times. Now I feel like he gonna let y'all see his face. He's no, like on stage right. looking like this. Oh, I'm trying to think. Yes, Lionel yelled at me no. so hell on stage. I'm like, all right, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. No, I like, ain't curse you out. But hey, man, we had a good time. <laughs> all the time. But the games was fun. The, the, no, yeah, okay, yo, so yeah, that, that the was very fun. Games was fun. Yeah, yo, uh, Greg Banks, he got a podcast called A Gentleman and the Pimp, I think, it's something like that. Oh, that's that okay. sounds funny. Yeah, it's a, it's about he was there and uh, he flipped the girl upside down. Oh, that was oh. Him. yes, and oh, yes, right. and yeah. I was like, yo, yeah, our supporters came right, right. It was go. characters. Like I like how the people that came on stage was actually willing yes. to get about that show because that's and they hard. They too. know each other. It, and two yeah. girls came on, and two guys, but we said, can y'all, you know, do it together? Because it's, you yeah. know, couples thing. Why not? Yeah. So, and they was really, like, ready for it. I'm like, okay. That was, like, that was a great game. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That, that, was, was, that, was, that was that was really good. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and really uh, uh, what you call the people? Um, the people in the, the sound check, I guess. People, what they call Oh, what, in the sound booth? Yeah, but the one that had the lights on or off, they was on on, on Target with it. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. We yes. ran through it beforehand. Yeah. And yeah. was you there, Larry? We ran through it. He wasn't there, was you? Mm-mm. No, we ran through it. We, we, had, we was counting down, like, do eight seconds, do five seconds. Like, we was on the money with it. So it was like, uh, yeah. it was super cool, like, how yeah. that went. So it's fun. And um, I don't, I don't know. It was. That, the, the musical chairs game. That was, was so much fun. It was, was fun, too. I made that up. Ain't that crazy? That was really. I made that, up. I really that was I made really good. Yeah, that was and it really was, like, fun. I yeah. think uh, I don't know eliminating everybody and then, and then our friend from uh, Hertz was the winner, Tommy. Ooh. That was oh, him. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna yeah. say that was so crazy. Like guy. I don't. Everybody came out just had a good time. Um, everybody, everybody, it was it was the, the vibes in the room was so was so good. Like it was. And I just felt comfortable, right? Because when we did the um the sex the sex positions, the two girls on the end, the big sexy. That was her name, yeah, Big Sexy. Yeah. I'm all laying on. I had to push us laying yes, on top of her. That was funny. Like, that, that was, was so crazy. Funny. Like, yeah, it was just was like, look, funny. we are having fun. We're going to have some fun. Like, yeah, yeah. and I wasn't even that drunk. Which is what, surprising. What, did you drink you anything? Gotten drunk. Huh? You drank anything? Yeah, I had, uh, like, a shot to kill. I had a we shot to kill. We had tequila. That he we had, take. Yeah, that Lair didn't want to take. Fuck him. Wait, what? Wait, what and, yeah, she's an asshole. I had shot to kill, but I think I had another, like, drink on stage, but I really wasn't drinking it like that. So I had lost oh, it. Oh, okay. And, like, Lair sent me topics. No, we be. We and be I set up the phone, drunk. then I lost the phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I realized you didn't even, like, pull your phone out. I was winging it. Was I'm like, a make fucking sure podcaster. This is what like, I do, baby. Come on. <laughs> This what we what talking about? This I'm not doing none of the bullshit. Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah no, I, um, so you didn't need the topic at, at all, at all. And then when it was like, go hit the topic. I said, oh, um, my daily life the bullshit. I be going through. I just brought it up, but um, yeah, the crowd was crazy. Wow. Talk about, I really, oh. I really wholeheartedly want to talk about that part. I, mean, um, I know you did because I was looking I'm at like, your face on stage and you was like, they're lying. I'm looking yeah. at Dave. <laughs> Dave was sitting behind me. I'm getting drunk. I'm like. These people are lying a little bit. Like, <laughs> Agree. I said, I don't know. These people are lying <laughs> a little bit. Like, they are lying. It was funny. It was Lair, funny. What woman you feel like really wants to date a man? <laughs> you asking the question over again. I just don't understand it. Like, yeah, ask it. What woman you feel like want to date a man and allow that man to look to at look girls at, and be like, you know what, yeah. babe? I'm going to join in with you. <laughs> That's ridiculous to me. Because you know what? If you ain't going to look at a man with me, then what we doing? What we doing? Yeah. I'm a, I don't want to be a one-way street. So you wanted to be a two-way street. I want you to keep your eyes to yourself. No, be a, a, and chill I, can, I, you can I just me? say this? Can I say this? Sure. I think there are certain things that um, everybody should have. I okay. think men should have certain things. I think women should have certain things. <laughs> and I think it should be that. If I want to look at a little bit of ass, 
now I gotta share that with you too. Like it's like this let me let I'm... me look at my ass on the on the and you can look at ass over there. You can look at a nigga's dick print if you want to, but I let feel me like have it this. It should be separate. I feel like yeah, I don't want to do I everything felt, with my I man. Felt that. Yeah, I felt. I that. don't want to join in the fun. Cause now I'm like y'all gotta share everything with yes. you. I feel, I feel look, that. Babe, you gotta be okay. look, babe, look, look at her, look at her. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, yeah, like I, no, I you look when you're not. A, be an adult and look at that shit on your own time because one one thing for sure, I'm not with my man all day long. Yeah. I don't want. I need my own time. I, I yeah. need separate space from you. But see that's my man all day long with him and then look at bitches with him too. Like that's, that's crazy. Too much. That's crazy. They like I'm so confident in myself. I'm like it don't got nothing to do with that. I it's feel just, like it's the opposite. I feel like a woman is being weak. And y'all can kill me later, but oh, I feel like a woman is being weak. <laughs> If you let, if you're just saying you're letting your man do it because you're confident. If you let your man do it, then that's you, sis. But mine, you gotta come. I look too good for my man to be turning his fucking yeah, I look neck too doing good this. for this nigga list. I need you to be. I'm right here. Why you all back there looking at her? Yeah. You making me feel like shit. Then you taking my confidence away. That's what's yeah. happening. Yeah. And you know what? Some niggas out here that won't look at a bitch when they with you because they got respect. Their mama taught them better. Yeah, well, I wouldn't do it. I, I just wouldn't do it. I would just wait till I mean, I'm how with my niggas. Ass, though. You I said don't this care last about time, nigga. Ass being fat. I'll be trying not to look. As you and then you know what? I know you lying. I'll be trying. I'm yeah. around him all the time and he don't do that. I know he's be lying. Trying. Cause I'm slick. I ain't no dickhead. No, you not slick. I he see, said he's so slick. I, I see <laughs> ass. No, you I, see, I see ass on the walk pass. I don't gotta turn my head or nothing. Oh no, what you heard what I said? Yeah. We got men That's what she who said. cannot yeah. stop oh, looking you're while you're with like, them. You're like this. She's saying niggas that don't know that they don't have no chill. control. Oh yes. no, I'm, I'm slick with it. Brought up during the live show and all the women in the crowd. I didn't hear that. Okay. You're not paying attention. No, at the live show, I didn't hear that. Cause he wasn't. He was on bullshit. Running around no, I, I wanted to I grab the microphone, but I'm like, this is my mom. at the live shows, why he couldn't even pay attention. <laughs> he was, I was busy up. looking at him, <laughs> <laughs> taking pictures was, of him. Was, Ask for the hidden uh, photography <laughs> with, uh, with a real phone. Uh, it's real ass. So it's ass come on, man. But no, seriously, I feel like that, that's why. I that's why I didn't like about people seeing like uh, no, I'm saying to women, we don't have good. to. We don't have to like lower our. Our standards for a man just so he can be with us and be like, oh, she my girl comfortable with that. Because you know what? Beyonce got cheated on. He'll still cheat on you. Don't yeah. matter no. what you allow him to do. Yeah, I, I did People like the fact that they thing. did interact with that, though. Like, yeah, it was like just it. the fact that they, you know, they had something to say about yeah. it. Because you could have brought that topic up and people could have got quiet. You yeah. know what I mean? But no, the I'm fact sure they, they said something. Opinion. But you know, I ain't it's like kinda, it. I guess you gotta like wins and losses. <laughs> it's like, all right. I ain't like it. What yeah. else did they, what else, what other questions was asked? Ooh, you remember? It was a question that was asked that was weird um, about the Africa situation being a country, not a continent. <laughs> Everybody in the crowd was like, that's a continent. I'm like, yeah. I don't even remember that. Stormy kept saying Africa was a, a, country. Was a country. And it's a continent. Yeah, that's what she said. Dope. She was like, the dirty kids in Africa or something. Yeah, something it was crazy like crazy. Shit. She yeah. was like, she said, she said, you know, she said, you know, everybody's starving in Africa, right? She said, the country of Africa. Everybody was like, no, it's a continent. Yo. Then she said, well, if you want to get your friend food, why can't I message your friend? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that, that, I do remember that topic. Yeah. That was, that was, to watch it get flipped a bunch of times by the crowd, just, just let me know that they was thinking. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they flipped it. They didn't just say that. They were like, well, what if my homeboy did this? And what if da 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 da? Like, oh, yeah, that, really was a, that was a question. Okay, yeah, they was they was really interacting with it. I thought that was cool. Yeah. What was your um? What was your favorite? Like, what was your highlight of the show? Um, mm, I think the beginning. I think the first game was a lot of fun. I think the yeah. games was. I think the games. All the games was like really fun. Games were fun. Um. I'm trying to think of the joke that you said that made me really laugh. He said they making jokes. She said some shit that I was funny screaming though. at. You know, always say I'm not funny. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. That was crazy. You said you were, your comedic timing was good though up there. Like I, it I was, respect it. It was. I think that I wish the, mic, the mics, mics was louder because I feel like a lot of things people couldn't hear us saying because yeah. the crowd was like, if we mentioned a topic, the crowd was like turned to that table talking about if I use in oh school. God, like the teacher, teacher was like, all right, yeah. y'all, get your groups and I'm gonna tell y'all something. Time. Go do this because yeah. they was like, wait, what? And the they were talking. Was having, they was having and I rooms. enjoyed it though. And although I, they wasn't even quiet because I wasn't yelling. I was like, whatever. Yeah, I ain't <laughs> but it wasn't yet. quiet. I was enjoying seeing them be excited. Like everybody yeah. was like excited. Like, oh yeah, that's, that's a good time let's talk about that it was like fun so i think the games that was my favorite part of the whole entire live show the interaction like yeah. i enjoy everybody like enjoying themselves having fun and then um the bartender was a fun time y'all met him uh -oh. i meet the bartender it was a bunch of bartenders though he was like a um tip of my tongue it's one of them singers they go cover singer uh um, he was like singing all these like so it was just crazy the bartender but he was upstairs a good time. or downstairs huh 
Downstairs or upstairs? He was downstairs. Okay. Yeah, he, he was, was a good time. He was like, not to us, but to all the people in the crowd. I went to the bar, we singing to him. So when I got off and I went talking to anybody else, he came to me and was singing to me. I was like, and the girl oh. was like, he was doing that all night. And I'm like, oh, because I was there. He just took a shot with this girl who had this fat ass butt. <laughs> this shit was, this Listen, shit was so crazy. How about was so fat? Are we coming to me like it's this girl that was walking around with braces on? And it was, I'm a girl. I was like, turkey, but they was uh they was together. She that, they was that together. Girl, lucky to the motherfucker. That and, shit. And the one you was so quiet, yeah. you wasn't rushing me. You was rushing me until no, you wasn't I rushed rushing you me. Till, I rushed you a little bit. I was I, I was shocked. I was what the fuck. He's t- because they, they had grabbed Aisha, they was like, you got to take a shot with us. And this, we was leaving. Yeah, we was they leaving. It was like, no, come to yeah. the bar. Yeah. And I looked down, and all I see is fucking uh, turkey. <laughs> I was like, God Bust damn. Bust pants. You look crazy. Yeah. yeah. And it was a lot of pretty ass people there. Like, everybody there was like pretty, was dressed up, yeah. looking nice. Like, you said her, all her boyfriends, there. it was lit, man. All your was boyfriends fun. was there. Your BFs Yo, was there. That was a Shout wild out to thing. <laughs> oh yeah, my Yo. guys, cause my guys are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, if you gonna do shout out, shout out Chancy. Chancy, yes, shout Chancy. I love Chancy. Shout yeah. to Chancy. And Chancy, that's my guy. He was just so nice. Like he came yeah. ready to get on stage. Yeah, like play. He, was, was on time he was in the back. He's on time. <laughs> he was in the back by the bar. I think he was nervous. <laughs> Oh really? I oh, really? He was just, like, yeah. he was just standing there like this. I said, when I went yeah. to go get him, he was like, "Oh, it's my turn." I was like, yeah, brother, come on. Like, <laughs> I said, he said, "Oh, okay, it's my turn." <laughs> Stop okay. playing with Chancy. No, I grabbed him. He didn't know what was going on. I said, "Bro, is you about to go up on stage?" He said, "Oh, okay." Well, now shout or the, now? Yeah. Shout the uh, the crew out to uh, yeah. Shout Chancy. out to my best friend Unique, my Unique, manager Kim, Kim, Lauren Lionel, Lauren Lionel, yeah. and Naeem yeah. came. Naeem, the host for us, Naeem. Um, yeah. Yeah, we yeah we had a we had a we had a we had a team we had a good we had a good team. team. Aisha was the center of the universe. That's why that picture you getting ready is my favorite picture. We had a good team. Everybody was there. Like, what happened to the music over top of us? See, you could have added to it. You and Samaj made that video. Had you looking crazy? Wait, wait, first of all, he didn't even do it on TikTok. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just want to say this really quick. You didn't let me do it. Like I was supposed to put the music underneath it. You post it. With my friends. And then and, like and, and I said, East, just do the dance and we're going to add the music later. You said, Baby, you so stupid. And I said, Okay. <laughs> like, like, what is I said, You did it. it. Look, you did it. And then I look up and you posted it. I said, What Wait. were you going to do it? And you could have added mine to you, Samaj, and Steve's. What? Y'all, oh, y'all yeah, I didn't. Listen. You could have added it onto there. They don't be thinking about it. Wow. They just be doing it. Wow. That's them two. You, I, I wow. need to maximize wow. it that social media. I saw my thing. network out and then what happens? Y'all Look, just let me. It's, that's them. I'm glad you, they they, be I'm glad you was able to get that out of there. You yes. know what I mean? I shout out you guys good, out. I think, at you the sh- I think you should post it on TikTok. I said, shout out to the LL network. I was real ratchet. I remember when. You should put the music underneath and put it on TikTok. We should just do it again tonight. I should do yeah, that. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do, do that. tonight. Okay. <laughs> I remember uh, we was at the uh, real quick the cocktail show and they said shout out to Lion Lionel and I just went quiet. <laughs> I stood the fuck up. I, <laughs> Lionel said, that shit. Woo! I was like, I said that's us. <laughs> that's us, y'all. This Sweet nigga, did, shot. this Sweet nigga shot. was not. You mean they? I said, you look, so fuck it. fake shot. I said, fuck it. So fake I'm shy. real shy. They gonna Come shout on, me dude. out there at they show while they here. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Stand up. Hell yeah. But no. Oh, and then we're doing um battle of the sexes end of the month in New York City Winery. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah. Tahoe's coming. Fun. I just saw a lot of people going to be there. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good time. But most importantly, who's going to be there? Fun. Yes, I'm going to be there. Yep. I'm yes. excited for so. that. Be, be prepared. I'm bringing, my, I'm bringing, my, I'm bringing my camera. What, what is it like? Is there a lot of like questions you just on a, like y'all it's did it like, before, right? It's like prompts Yeah. on the screen and then right. like it's like a microphone Response. and you can get up and go react to it or yeah. say what you think about it or oh, your okay. opinion on it. So it's like yeah. a, it's kind of like a town hall. Okay. They have stuff up. You go. How many people? You say, like six at a time. about that. Okay. I think it's it's three women, three men at each segment. So okay. side of women, side of men. Boom. Oh, so it's multiple segments. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. three Perfect. it's three segments. Okay. So I think you might either do one or two. Okay. So it's just women, men, and they they rotate the people. They rotate That's go, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool I mean, little concept. I'm going to talk, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. yeah. yeah you guys gonna be there, right? Yes. Yes, we fun. will be there. Yeah. We will be Mrs. there. You gonna call this episode shady? No, 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 no not, not on our end. This is not. We're gonna call this episode no, shady. No, we will be there. Y'all gonna be. We gonna call it sneaky shady. No, it's all <laughs> I'm saying. We, we, we will. We will be there. <laughs> Shout out to the FC Network. <laughs> Shout out to them for real. Though. That's we gonna people. be there though. That's but we folks. we gonna be there. We gonna be there. Okay, yes, yes. yes. I love supporting other podcasts. I love I love genuinely supporting people, and you know, again. 
affirmation is so much space <laughs> oh, early in this world <laughs> for everyone to be great. Yes. Everyone I agree. tap your partner and say, be great. When you're like here in church, they be like, someone look at that partner say, and say, partner. be great. Look yeah. at your, so look at your today, neighbor. So he's going to work today. So he's this morning. Tell someone at work, be great. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with just helping people be great. So yeah. Did you what, do what about the show? What can I do differently? Because I asked I ex- Laura, I said, I need give me your real raw Yeah, feedback. you asked me for mine, and I didn't. I never gave it to you. Yes, I'm here for it. My real raw? Real raw. You seem so comfortable. Like, I don't, I'm trying to think of a critique. You, you just was comfortable. Really? Like, you just kind of sat in the pocket. Like, you you ain't, you ain't really looked too, for too much. Like, it was, it was chilling. Like, I, I, I don't really got, I don't really have a critique. I don't know. That's maybe like, maybe a critique you. on us or like this, like the organization, maybe like knowing where we got to be and shit. But like, we was chilling. Like, it was, I, I think we was, was in the right up. place. I think uh, next show, we just got to like set up more like all right we're gonna have time for you know posting on social media for you because like there yeah. was like a lot of opportunities where we could have did things right but then also like i would also like to just see when it's you like honestly yeah what, what a what a live show for you would be like in order for it to be like oh all right well there's this that and there but like as far as i'm concerned you killed that shit like Thanks, there was Lionel. there's no I don't. I can't think of yeah, anything. I'm to think like of we, a we probably we we probably could have did stuff a little bit better. Like just as far as like getting behind the scenes. Like who was controlling your social media? I was. Oh, all right. He was cooking that shit. Yeah, uh, I posted I was doing it the and repost. it went up on your joint immediately. Really? Yeah. yeah. I put the. I, I made a highlight of the show. That's yeah. for like so people can go reflect Need on it. That. That's lit. But Need no, that. like it was it was it was fun. I I'm looking forward to more of your shows I next think year. From that show, I feel like I can do a show alone. Like yeah. I wouldn't feel nervous doing it by myself. Like And yeah. you'd be able to curate your guest and like just yeah. you know. And I mean you know how to come up with like games and stuff like that. Like you did a good job with that. Topics yeah. I think you'll do well with. I just would like to see how you would be with your your crowd. Just my own crowd, you know? right? Like yeah, yeah, I just wanna see like how it would be because when it was y'all up there on stage, you did a good job. Like y'all did a good job like responding and stuff. Yeah, I was trying to talk too much. You don't talk not enough. I'm about to bring each like, on tour with us. She about to, that'd be on your mind. Yes, that'd be fun. That yeah. do be on your mind, like whether or not to hop in and say something yeah. right now. Like yeah. that's definitely like my chime. I don't want to over talk somebody else. I'm trying to make sure everything seemed even. You know, um, I'm just trying to be a team player. Hello. Yeah, you evaluated. Yeah, you are. I seen you looking to see like is it time to capiche? Yeah, yeah, I was trying to like. You know, it was a lot, and um, I don't know. It it was fun. I, I have I have no complaints about the show. I mean, first, None. thank you, Lur, for even producing. He 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 co-produced the show. Look at this shit here. Like look I was li- literally look trying to listen her. like this. Yeah, <laughs> looking all tall and shit. Who oh, said I was tall? I mean, like, like, oh, you, you said I did good. You said I look tall. I said you did good. I don't know. Oh, 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 I'm not giving you all that. Oh, was really nice. No, thank you, Lionel. <laughs> No, like Lark co-produced it. Um, mm-hmm. We had a show run, and then Lark came was like, "Ew, no, that's horrible. Let's change it around." <laughs> you know, he was like, mm, "No, that's not gonna work. Let's yeah. change it around." I used to make me be very, very honest, and I hate doing it. No, I think that you should be honest, more honest. You know, more. Often. I don't like being mean to people. That's the thing. I don't want to be. Mean. It's not about being mean, but people be needing that honesty. Honesty yeah. is so important. Yeah. You know, like I don't like tension. So if I feel like it's tension, I'm like, wait, no, we can't. I I can't live off tension. I'm not a petty person. Yeah. I don't like to argue. Like I don't mm-hmm. mind seeing how I feel. But go back and forth for somebody trying to make my point. I feel like. Either you should go into the gym and get some gloves and box it out, and you I mean get your frustration out, or just not be petty. Yeah. The petty, just I hate, say, I hate say that. I hate people who are passive aggressive, and I feel like that was a lot happening, like being passive aggressive. Like I just rather us just say, "Well, Lionel, I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like that." You know what I did wrong with this show is, it was my first show, and I'm like, we should come out separately. I'm like, because it's my first show, I come out, you come out, you come out, I'll come out, whatever, whatever. And that was a wrong decision that I made. That was mm-hmm. just, and it wasn't even a decision. It was a suggestion. Yeah. And because of that, it made shit go crazy. Like, yeah, oh, the, you don't want to come out with it, me. It, it, it was, yeah, yeah, it just made a thing. And it was like, it was a suggestion. But after we sat and talked about it and thought about it, it was like, uh, we shouldn't come out separately. Yeah. It was, it was a suggestion. And that shit made everybody upset. Yeah. You know, but I could admit that I was wrong. I shouldn't have thought about it. It's my first show. I'm just throwing out suggestions. Like, how are we going to get on camera by ourselves? How are we going to get a moment by ourselves? We're going to be on stage mm-hmm. the whole time together. Maybe mm-hmm. the only time we can have a good picture taken. Like, who knew? I didn't know. It was a suggestion. And I felt like because of that, it made things go to the left. 
And I know yeah. when I'm wrong. I have no problem saying when I'm wrong. Like, I don't mind ever, ever. Just being like, look, I fucked that part up. But I don't think that should open a can of worms. But nah. neither here nor there, this show was mm. still a great show. We came out together and it was a fun show. So I agree. We have to I now agree, get so. podcast and get yeah, some Yeah, start podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> I have um, no topics because I... Uh, oh, let's just talk. Fuck yeah, let's it. keep talking. Let's we can talk. have conversation. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's um, talk about um, how do you deal with your when you're anxious and shit like that. I can read. I can read your you. Or my what? When you're anxious. Anxious. I can. Ooh. I look. I can look at you. And be when like, I'm anxious. You came in. A, you came in. Should <laughs> she, I? Came, she came in the World Cafe life, like before anything. Yeah. Boom. I was like, yeah, she's uh, she don't go. Yeah. Right oh, you can read it she's on like, there. Steve. What the vibes in here? Like, what the, I was like, no, what because what is it? What's the? I was like, I, I need to get a charge for my camera. <laughs> I don't know like, what the fuck. Steve, up. let me say, I'm gonna have this shit. <laughs> I think that I, I just, I literally like people say they like good vibes, but I literally like good vibes. I literally like to have fun, and like yeah. I feel like all I want to do is get drunk or be sober and have fun. It don't really matter. Like I want to have fun. I don't want to have. I don't care to have beef. That's just. I don't think it gets you nowhere. Like, having a problem with somebody, if I don't like you, I'm going to say it. So when it's, like, tension or I'm feeling anxious, I just like to kind of, like, get shit on the, on the road. Like, let's just go. Like, when I got yeah. to World Cafe Live, traffic was crazy coming from Philly. I mean, coming from Delaware. So I was in traffic for a long-ass time. I was mm-hmm. nervous as shit. You know, I'm like... You were nervous. The yeah. show here, it's, let's go. It's, like, it's show day. It's show I didn't want to drink. I didn't yeah. want to eat. No. I just wanted to know. I wanted to be like... Let's move. I should have went. I should have took a run around the building first. Like, I didn't even have to get some, some steam energy. Off. Yeah. yeah, get some energy out because I was like, go, and I went and bought a real bowl, right? Although I asked, I said, that? can I provide real bowls, waters, ice? I was being real bougie. Yeah, <laughs> we need only bring real bowls. Like, no, but I was like, you know, we need these things. Because I'm like, if I don't drink, I told Lar earlier, I was like, I'm so anxious and mad about what I was walking into because of the tension. I was like, I don't want to drink. I was like, I'm not going to drink the whole night. Like alcohol? Yeah, I was like, she I don't want to drink. I said, because I won't be on yeah. alert. Because you didn't know what was going to go on, the way yeah. she was rolling. But long story short, um, yeah, when I'm anxious, I feel like I just have to move and go and do something. And yeah, and it's hard to like, when you anxious, when it's time to like uh, feel better, it was hard coming down off that high, I felt like. Yeah. yeah. I felt I was on a high that night. I was going to say, I know how it is with like live shows. Um, I don't. For me, it's not until I see the crowd and how the crowd yeah. like interacts and reacts yes. for me to actually even get anything. So leading up to it, I'm just like chilling. I'm just really? either getting drunk. Yeah, I really don't get nervous. Really? I'm the complete I need to opposite. The crowd. So. I need to read the crowd first because I need to know what they're gonna be on so I can know what I'm gonna be on. Right. That's just me though. Yeah. No, I think that once I saw the crowd and they were like excited to see you me, was like, I was like, oh, this is all love, and I mean yeah. for like. I'm going to send a live pod, my own live pod, just talking to my friends. Because my songs is my friends. You get what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. talking to my friends and having a good time with them. Um, what I was disappointed in was I was dating this guy for, like, months. And, like, right before the show, like, a week before the show, I had started crying randomly because I was, like, overwhelmed and stressed oh, you out. stressed? Yeah, and I was like, and I didn't know um, why. And he was talking to me about something. He was like, just talking. And I just bust out crying. And I never, ever cried. He knew. I never cried in front of him, ever. Yeah. He was like, what's wrong? And I'm like... I'm just fucking overwhelmed, man. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed. Why are you just let your voice crack just now? I'm overwhelmed. So I'm fucking overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I felt overwhelmed. <laughs> and he was like, he was good. He supported me. He was like, no, it was me good, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that's good. And the next day, he's looking at ass, and he stopped talking. And I ain't talked to him ever since. Chill. The next day, what happened? He was looking at ass, and then... Oh, it's that, it's that one. It's yeah, that yeah. after that, so, it was a wrap. Wait, and I felt back. like this is why I don't like being around <laughs> with men, because they know how to fuck up something. And I always was kind of like guarded with him. And I finally felt comfortable enough <laughs> To, to be cry. vulnerable with him, and then vulnerable. he do he vulnerable yeah. with him, and he do that. He go ahead and do some nut ass shit. Yeah, and it's do just you, like we just done. We don't talk do at you, all. Do you like like do men cry in front of you? I guess when we in a relationship, yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't mind. It wouldn't make me feel like you're weak. I don't mind men crying. Everybody's their yeah. emotions. If I'm not, if I'm not your. Uh, your peace, as they say, right? Your peace, then why wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> like, you should be able to cry in front of me. And I feel like, but I feel, like, tough. Like, in my family, I don't cry around nobody. Like, I'm not mm. ever going to cry to my mom or my sisters. I'm going to be like, what happened? I'm going to be tough as shit. Like, but I feel like when I got somebody I like and I can, like, be myself, that's why I felt like this is why I don't need to be dating nobody. Because yeah. men know, right, when it's, I feel like every man take our kindness for weakness. The moment you break down, act like a girl, act soft. <laughs> <laughs> they want to go ahead and be like, 
oh, she, yeah. I got her. Now I'm going to be we myself. We got her. Yeah, yeah. And he don't understand that. They're crying and shit. I felt overwhelmed. So although you fucked up the next day, he thought I was going to be like, because I cried for her. Maybe I was like too much. I, I was on him. I was, I was too deep in her. I couldn't walk I away. I was going to say, do you think that you crying gave him, granted him a little bit of leeway for him to be like, uh, like you know, he hit the group chat. Like, all right, bro, she comfortable around yeah, me, bro. I yes. can, I can look at some ass now. Yes. Like, you think yes. that's what it was? I think that he thought that, like, oh, all right, she, you know, she trusted me. I'm in there. I'm in there. She's not gonna walk away. Yeah. But now I'm so good at walking away from shit. I'm like, I could, I could. You mean? I don't ever talk to you ever again in life. I'm. Well, then, what are your signs to let a nigga know that, like, all right, he got you a little bit? I always, oh, like to let him know he got me. Like you know, um, like you know, you know when somebody got you. Like you know when you start doing things, you start. He, Forgiving mean, them too yeah, too okay. quickly. Like when I, I think that when a man has me in pocket, I start to forgive them too many times for mm. the same dumb shit that I asked them not to do. Like you know, like if I'm like if I call you twice, answer the phone. Like let me know you okay. Where's yeah. women excuse to find out being in business and we be like I will make sure you are okay. We always be in your business and shit. So I bit. feel like yeah, I feel like a if I'm bit. asking you to not like to answer the phone <laughs> and shit for me, and, and I'm. Forgiving you and you're not doing it or you're just not doing what I should do. I keep forgiving you. You got me. You got me in pocket. I, I'm gonna keep coming back. Yeah. But I don't think I've been like that for a man in a very long time. Like I've, it's been years, like at least three years, you know. And Lur, yes, this guy I used to talk to years ago. They used to kind of be stalking me a little bit. His family was at the podcast. A lot of podcasts. Whole family. That was the craziest thing to me. The whole family? Yes. It was yeah. like, it was like, I was, I was like surprised. You. They Did like the family you. listen? Huh? They like you. That's like the family. Hey, I, I, but, I, but you know, I didn't know them. They knew of me. <laughs> it's one of the things that's like, oh, all right, now we're going to But is like that the whole thing like, yo, I know her. I know her. Yes. Yeah. That was like crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. You had, all, you had all the people lined up at the World Cafe line. I, with I that wrinkled ass step and repeat that you had. I, I, mean, I said, take that shit. <laughs> you Damn. said, take this shit. He gonna down. say, no, it was like, maybe you gonna tug the bottom and, and it straighten like, it out. It was no tugging of that thing. That thing was done how do you, for. How do you, can you, you can't iron it. It's plastic. What do you do? Um, yeah, you just, I don't, but I don't understand how they expect that not to yeah. wrinkle. Like, how would y'all make something that's not, like, make I, it wrinkle proof? Yeah, I laminated. think that you really have to make, like, the, I guess, bars tight. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even that know how to tough. get it back out the fucking box. But it was good though. Yeah, I, I like seeing um everybody come up to you and take pictures afterwards. Like just that seeing fun. that was like really, you know, it was like a nice full circle situation because it was no, like that, that was a lot damn, of fun. Each really did this. I couldn't, like, even, I couldn't even get a pick. Like I just wanted to pick. We didn't get a pick. I wanted to get a pick with our team. We didn't get a pick. We, we didn't get a pick. We, we never moving. do. Niggas was tired. Yeah, we never I was did. so tired. Each. I, really? Right from work to home to yes. right back out. I was yeah, done. You, yes. got, was you got there fast. I was like, what the fuck? Why are you getting shot? Yeah, and I was up at 6. And I had to do my I mean, regular mom routine. You text. I'm like, yeah. Hey, let me. The text. I said, somebody get here, y'all, because, <laughs> yo. All right, hold on. <laughs> got a ticket. I'm like, Woo. I got a ticket. I got, I'm going to fight it, but I got a ticket. I got a. Not, not on that day. All right. I don't like. I was about to say, we. I made sure. You got a ticket? I got a ticket on my car. You did? But yeah, but I'm going to fight it, though. You made sure I, I didn't get a ticket, though. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get a ticket. I did. It's fine. It was there all parked at the bottom, and I feel like they should have said they that. They should have said that. They probably did. They should have said that. Probably didn't know. Because uh, all that shit I, I was doing to park, uh, they should have just said, y'all can park downstairs. $33 pay for my car. My car was in, <laughs> my car was being holed out. Everybody just driving around. Had to Listen, get me, get me a lot. I parked across at, like, the lacrosse uh, parking lot, I guess, or the soccer yeah. parking yes. lot. And they were like, no, right here. I'm like... Uh, okay, move it again. $15. Okay, let me, yes. let me go get that joint real quick. But no, it was it was cool. It you was know what was cool. uncomfortable for me at the show? What's that? What? So, I was talking to this guy yes. beginning of the year, and I had ghosted him. And the motherfucker came to the live show. How mm. bad did you ghost him? Oh, so hard. <laughs> can, can, can you hit the laptop? <laughs> like, so so hard. I ghosted him so badly, right? So, um, we were, we talked for, we met. Out of town, we talked for like two days, yeah. and then um, we tried talking when I got back home, but it just wasn't kind of like working out. It wasn't there. And yeah, and um, I just was like, I'm just not going to respond. So I had, uh, I did some business with him, and I had blocked him, because I was like, oh. this is just like not working out. Yeah. And then he just, he been blocked on all social medias, on my text messages, everything. And then I look up at the pot, at the live pot, he was right there. 
That was very uncomfortable. And what did you say when you seen him? Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> like, what did he say? You can't what give him say? a hug. You can't give and him he, a little side job. Oh, drum. he basically came with me and got in the picture and shit. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. he sit sitting there. Why he got to do this creepy laugh? He got my dad. He sat there. <laughs> You get a picture with him? Yeah, I think yeah, I would like to him. see this gentleman. Let him know. Let him know. know. I don't know. I don't know which nigga, Swing but it was a bunch pig. of niggas. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let me see that. Joe, it was, it, I think it was. It, was this the nigga with nigga. the what you call it? I'm not gonna answer this question. Oh, Cause this nigga was not letting her go. In Yo. Place. Oh no. Yeah. He was trying to slide out, and he was yes. like, because he was, he was, he was living in his moment. He I was paid so a ticket. And he called himself surprise me, and he came alone. He came alone on some, like, when we leave, you leaving with me type shit. Like, oh. he kept looking around, like, where you going next? I'm like, I asked my mom home. I wasn't saying anything, like, yeah. you got to go, bro. Like, yeah. I can't. I Nigga ghost him for a right reason. Right now, like, yeah. He said, oh, that was the reason why? <laughs> she came out home for real? <laughs> no, I, I just felt, I don't know, like, when I'm trying to go somebody, and then you yeah. pop up on me, you supporting me. You can't go you. somebody no more. But you can't ghost nobody no more. You're going to have shows and stuff like that. And you're I the feel. ultimate person for ghosting. What? <laughs> I don't like this being my title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like. There's a reason why I don't speak or that or the internet. You know but no, I mean? yeah, really, you can't ghost nobody no more. Because you got, no. if you're having, like, some shit and everybody you're going to be at, I mean, like. That's why I'm glad I'm not a gangster. Because, like, <laughs> if niggas will pull up on me and do something to me, like. I know, right? That's why I'm talking about. I'm not, I don't live that life. I, don't, that's like, what I told Lila, yeah. we will not talk about niggas in Philly like that. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> you know? you got to be nice and friendly to motherfuckers, because if not, then what? You, know, you go like, on live, they be like, I just seen you the other day. I'm like, what the fuck? You're like, like uh-uh, yeah, I, don't, uh-uh. I don't like that. So, yes. Yeah. That's good, though. He came and seen you, he supported. Came. He's you a know? nice guy. He's just not for me. Right. He's a nice guy. He's just, he's just not. My mom would be like, you should date him. Oh, Your mom, mom was, was at the show. show. She's at the show. Yeah. Crazy. Shorter than you. I told you I'm the tallest girl in my family. No, some of your cousins are a little tall. That's a fucking lie. So I don't know. None of each them. each got all fine cousins, low key. I like, know. I need to know who the cousins is looking like. I, was I just drunk. met one of my cousins. Um, my dad's <laughs> side. We all, it's so weird. That's such a hood statement. It's I just, just met, one, met of one of my cousins. <laughs> my dad's side. Mind you, I've been I'm I'm close with my dad. But for some reason, like, the whole family will get together. So he hit my dad as a brother, and we got together, like, a month ago at a cookout. Mm. And I met my cousin. And I looked at her. I said, yo, I look just like you. And it was the weirdest <laughs> thing ever. And I'm like, am I lying, blah? No. I got a picture with her, and we literally look. I just like, the, the shit is yeah. weird to me. Like, yes. Yeah. She got big titties like me and everything. We like everything. <laughs> we got twin titties. We got twin titties. Twin titties. Yes, <laughs> we yes. do. We and that's really my, my like, he always make up these crazy topics. And that's really like my cousin. So looking at her, my family, all my siblings are like half Puerto Rican. So I get here and they got like these little teeny noses and little teeny lips. Noses, yeah. Noses and little teeny uh-huh. lips. lips. Uh huh. So I don't look like them. My nose is, is big, and I got, like, a bigger lips and stuff. So I'm like, well, who? Am I adopted? <laughs> but now I know it's family who look like me. Yes, yes. I was excited for her, but she, she came by herself. That was, like, super cool. Like, oh, no, that's really lit. supporting. Like, I really um, enjoyed that. So, yes, you yes. You should love the support. All right. So we're going to get into Isha's tweets. Yes. All right. Driving in the fast lane slow triggers me. Oh, my gosh. Why do people... That's a known law, right? When people get in, like... When you get your license and permit, is it the, le- the left lane is the fast lane? It, Where are it you? should be. Are that's you on a the highway? Yeah, on the highway. If you're on the highway, the left lane is the passer lane, not the fast lane. So you're not supposed to stay in it? Yeah, so if you're... For if, two miles, though, here's right? Here's the thing. Like, if you're driving in that lane yes. and you go in and it's a car behind you, you got to move over to the right it, lane. It's the fast lane. Okay, I'm yeah, sorry. It's, it's the it's fast the lane, but it's the passing lane. lane. But yes, you, you are correct. You get two miles of being there, though. Yeah. You get two like, miles of being there. Of so going crazy, yeah. You cannot get in that lane, then, and drive a speed limit. Yes, I would and have to stay in there. You move Get the, the way. fuck out the way. And I was like, I think I have anxiety when I drive to Philly because it's like, everybody want to sightsee in Philly. Just fuck around, sightsee, and get shot. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out the way, bro. You in Philly. Let's go. Move over. And they always got jersey tags. Yes. Leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. It's Motherfuckers be me. thinking Philly so thorough. Get the fuck out. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> He's around here, and um, it was a guy trying to make a left turn on the street that you couldn't turn on. Yes. And then car went around him and was like, 
the fuck are you doing, ass? Yeah. That was one of those white, white South Bulls. Philly niggas. Italian guys, yeah, yes. Like, I'm like, yeah, nigga, like, what are you doing? Seriously, like, yes. don't come here and like, Uber drivers from other states. Don't come here driving all slow. Get yeah. out the way. Shit, See, that bothers me. I'm in a rush. And I feel like everybody in Philly in a rush. We talk fast. We move fast. Move. We live fast. We play that shit. We live yeah. fast. All right. <laughs> so... For you trying to tweet about the Eagles like you I like, love football. I know you do. By my side, I'm in there on the radio listening to a driver like, yo. Well, you must have had a, a lot of bad traffic this weekend because you said <laughs> jumping in the traffic just to ride your brakes really make me want to punch somebody's fucking mom. No, I be wanting to punch people's <laughs> moms. I be wanting you to pull up. I want your mom be in the car and patch the side. That's I want to get mom? out and punch them. <laughs> One time, um, the first year they had um, Made in America here, yeah. I got married that day. Oh. So... I had to go and pick up the tux, like all the guys' tuxes downtown, which was dumb as shit of us, right? But we yeah. wasn't prepared for a Made in America. Yeah. So I'm driving the car, and the lady in front of me just kept hitting the brakes. Yeah. So, you know, you're already in traffic, keep moving. Long story short, me and my cousin in the car, um, she stopped so hard, I almost hit her. So she decides to get the car, some white lady got the car, and come yelling at me like, go my fucking brakes. I'm going fast as I can. She's going crazy. Go so go I'm fast. like, I'm like, you're not going fast. You can hurry the fuck up and go. Yeah. So then she gets in her car and now she's saying my brakes be smart. She has to get uh, in the car again. She comes to the car and she said, stop playing with you fucking nigger. Oh, wow. white lady. So, white lady. Put her in. Okay, so white. I looked at her, right? Cause I'm stuck. I never been called a nigger before. Yeah. So I'm stuck. So I'm about to get out the car, but I realized I'm downtown around white people. So I said, if I hear that, I'm going to jail. No matter what, I'm be wrong. Yeah, I had a water wedding, bottle right here yeah. with a little squeezy water bottle. Yeah. Touched the water bottle, and I unrolled that window. And I I mean, when I tell you I was squeezing the water in her face, and she was like this. And yeah. I went and got the car and slapped her. But then the white people outside was like, you can't do that. Put water in her face. But they all heard her call me a nigga. So wow. she called me a nigga, but I can't put water in her face. Like, yeah. Yeah, so I hate traffic. I think because of that, I'm always kind of like. Racist traffic. It's always racist traffic. All yeah. traffic is racist traffic. I would point. have to agree. Yes. At this you point. just never know. I agree with that. Yeah. But that was the only time I've ever been called a nigger before by a white person. And that was kind of like outrageous. I've like, been called a nigger. And I wanted well, to punch her, but I couldn't. You've you been called a nigger before? In Vermont. My f- first, second day of college. Shut up by somebody your age? Somebody in a pickup truck. Shut up. What you was doing? Walking. <laughs> he was just existing. Oh, oh, it was a he fun was nigger. Every white. Black he was like, no, hey, nigger, he's drawing. You know, I was he just, was I was just, I called my mom like, yeah, I'm transferring. Seriously? <laughs> what school you was yeah. at? Uh, Champlain. Where? Burlington, Vermont, Champlain. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and this is your last tweet that I'm going to read today. I wasn't today. tweeting that much. I yeah, was you wasn't tweeting at all. You I deleted my tweets. I was, I was tweeting. I deleted them. God being me. Oh. Up. I was going off. <laughs> Damn. I we said, said she could never. No, I was on Twitter acting crazy. Oh, ease. Yeah, see? I was just well, talking Well, there shit. is actually no more. Yeah, good. See? Okay. I deleted most of them because I was being me. Okay. Right, well, that's we that's the... A lot of them. Jones. We can get into some more. We can do whatever. We have 53 right now. Um, what we got going on? Let's get one more topic in there, maybe. Let's do okay it. That. I, Let's popcorn topics. Don't grab it. Popcorn bop, topics. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, what, do you, what kind of topics do you want to do? I don't know. What y'all want? Like, hmm. um, hmm. what's going what on got? in the world? Let's throw a random topics. word out. Oh. oh. Let's, let's talk about people idolizing couples. Because he oh. modded them, broke up, and uh, Jeezy and them, and all that. See, I think that. And Steve Harvey's wife cheating. And Remy Ma cheating. We knew Steve Harvey's wife was going to cheat, though. Uh, she, she bad as shit. What? And they got 18 jobs. What she see him? Marjorie, Marjorie Harvey, bad in the motherfucker. And she got 18. He, like, literally, when you going when you going to see him? You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. My wife could cheat on me if I got multiple jobs. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like... can't cheat on me. You wouldn't get... You wouldn't you get cheated on? No. You got to understand. It's like being in jail. You got to understand. Yeah. No. It if you like always travel a lot, Steve Harvey do the radio show. He do a family few. Yeah, he, he do do a he, lot. He do the beauty thing. He do entirely too much. You have enough money now. He got Stop. too much going on. <laughs> it's an addiction. You're not even going to touch no. all that money. Stop. Right? You know what I'm saying? Then he was being greedy. Yeah. Like like uh, Candy. Candy do all these jobs. And uh, they say her. Yeah. They say uh, her husband probably cheating on her too. She probably got some it's good pussy like, though. Candy definitely got good pussy. You can tell. Portia bad voices. as shit, but I don't think she got good pussy. Ra- Razzy voices got good pussy. You don't think so? Like, uh, girls got Razzy voices got good pussy. Because we yell a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is we? She said we. Who is we? You don't know she just turned voice. French real quick. She started speaking French. <laughs> what the fuck? Your voice should not go, ah, my name is we. <laughs> my name is we. <laughs> Shout out to my Razzy voice lady. 
Jesus. I tried it, like, I tried it. <laughs> yo, I tried it. Yo, Let me stop. Tell hey, for real. Yo. For real, we be having raspy voices or whatever. What, you know, you know. <laughs> I keep trying it. You know why I hate, I hate talking to my friends. Uh-huh. Who like go back to their old relationships uh-huh. and they be trying to give excuses of why they went back and you already trying to hear that shit. You be like, nope. oh, oh you okay? Yeah. I don't okay. give a fuck. You got it. You be back? Yeah. Crying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like it's like do. stop telling me trying to make excuses why you back with this person. They be trying to justify it to you, like you not fucking me. You yes. not fuck them. They yeah. need, they need somebody to group up with to be like to right? agree. I'm right? Yeah. yeah, like no, you ain't right. We we were asked something like this, um, in the question we were putting a scenario and Lurch said that he would tell the friend about the whole situation. Well, so I, like, I, I did. I did that to What you I mean? Say, but so, my, my, go ahead, my well, yeah, so uh they, they asked us a question and they were like, um, if a couple was going through it, whatever, whatever, and you don't like this if you don't like the partner, but they're your friend. Like let's say your friend you don't like your friend's partner. Okay. Right. And you get alone time with Person you don't like the, the person yeah, yeah. you don't like the partner because you're like at a party or something like and that. The, and your friend walk away. And your friend like walks away. They're oh. greeting people, and you're just sitting next to the partner. How make does that interaction it. go? Yeah, make them feel it. Yeah, the awkwardness. Yeah, yeah, make them feel it. I mean, it depends on the friendship though. Okay. If I'm not truly close with the person who I don't like their spouse, I'm probably not gonna say too much. But if you're like my best friend or my close friends. I'm gonna probably mention something, but it's gonna fuck your, your friendship up. What do I say something like, why you got to cheat my friend so much? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I can hear you saying that. That'd be the number one question you, if everybody yeah. want to ask. Like, yeah, yo, saying, why, why are you, why are you so such much? a bad person? Because he's going he's gonna to tell my friend, like, she was drawing. That's, and she may hate me for saying that to him. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. I, but, but I she not like going to say it. She ain't going to say it. But I, you know what? I think if he's really hurting her like that, I would sit with him for the team. Like, stop cheating. I yeah. don't know. But Isn't that how, tough? how do you do that? Yeah. And they're not going to say that you said that either. To them, because they're not they going to spark that conversation will. up. They or at most times with guys try to do with girls to break their friendship up when they know like your friend gonna be talking shit to him. He'll be saying she's like she was on me. Uh, like no, I wasn't. Uh, I was why? saying I ain't like you. You heard what I said? Yeah. Don't say I was on you. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, that's but I hate I hate when I meet. I'm gonna stop saying hate. I do not like meeting my friends Look boyfriends after they cheated on them multiple times and they took them back and then finally I meet them and they be ugly as shit. <laughs> Like, right this, there, like this what we this what you crying over him? This what we crying over? Like some shit niggas ain't some niggas not worth letting them cheat on you multiple times. And sometimes they be the ones. They always be the ones. Yeah. I I'll see you ugly cry. Thank you. That's what you go. I'm just saying. Cause yeah. you don't think so? Yeah. yeah. I, I've been in multiple situations where my friend called me and I haven't met the guy before and he was dogging her out. Making her feel like shit. Yeah. And she was calling crying multiple times. Not told her multiple times. Leave him alone. And then finally, after he cheated on her and she just taken it and they together and I meet him, like, I'd be disappointed. This who you was not cute. crying over? Like yes. literally was coming all out. You, you was like, depressed. You. you went eat. You lost 17 pounds over him. For this nigga. He not Crazy. worth it. Got he not it. worth it. Yeah. Yeah. They be the ones. <laughs> I fight the ugliest men. Yeah. Cheat the hardest. I think it's not fair. I think it's just totally not fair to women. And I don't know. I, and I'm a, I'm a good friend that's never going to say leave your man. I'm never going to tell my friends leave your man. But what I'm going to do is put you onto a new nigga. I'm here for that. Morning. That's how I support my friends. Let's go out. Support your friends by putting them onto <laughs> a new nigga. Yes. I'm that friend. Like, I'll yeah. get up and go. Like, oh, you having a problem? All right, let's go out. Oh, have some fun. <laughs> and we're going to go We're gonna to a sports bar. <laughs> we're going to buy some niggas some drinks. That's what I do. That's how I go oh, with niggas in. I buy niggas at the bar shots. If I see oh, you, you really gonna get and then I bet that I don't talk to you. I'm like, oh, I just want to take a shot with y'all. All right, y'all, enjoy the game and you just mind your business. Oh, then they hop on your dick. That's they really come good. and they buy you, you shots. Think, you think you me? They're gonna be like, round two, round two. We yeah, they're like, what's yeah, wrong with them? Now, now, come you, on, yo, now you with the bar with all the guys like singing, like, yeah. yeah, that's how you gotta get them. Get them drunk. That's how I be in my. Niggas in my, love when a girl buy them a drink. And my walk away bag. Do some fly shit and just leave. Yeah, you got you gotta be like that. You gotta just be like, hey, listen, this is what I'm doing. This, this is what you do when you want a man to like you, but you don't want to be on his dick too much. You guys just be like, treat, treat him like a treat him like a man would treat you. That is the rule. If a man would do it, I love compliments him out. You look nice and keep it moving. Yeah. And then I'm there from there. I'm gonna come running back. Uh, Wait a minute, well, I, I like <laughs> your shoes. Your shoes look good. Like, Thank What's you. your name? What's your number? Thank yeah, you. Yeah. You know yeah, what's weird though? One more topic, y'all. <laughs> At the show, right? At the after yes. party. 
Oh. Which we, we went to Fringe. Oh. Fringe was super nice. L- I know. I love Fringe, and I'm mad at it. It was I super nice. I ain't had the and good. dope. You had fun at Fringe? I had fun at Fringe. Yeah, it was a good time. I had a good time, but no, it wasn't it. Well, listen, so my cousin, (laughs) I I might not stop me if I'm going too far. My cousin, she is very, um, (laughs) go ahead. I'm sorry. She's very scared to date the wrong. She's very scared to date a guy who's not really into dating her. Uh, Am I saying something wrong? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Am I saying something wrong? But I'm going to say what happened. So the guy who came to the show, (laughs) listen, it's not a mean thing. It's the guy who came to the show. And she asked him if, you know, was he with the guy he's with? And he got really upset. Would you be upset if a woman asked you that? Nah. I no? would laugh. Just funny. take it, right? If somebody walked up to us, it would and be like, a lifetime joke about it. It'd be like, 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 like y'all together? Yeah. Like, no, y'all, y'all together together. Like, I'd be like, you think I'll be with him? That'd be like my joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got, you, this you man got mad. Think. He came to me and was like, this your cousin? Yeah. I said, listen, man, I'll never. So that was like a thing. I feel like sometimes you guys just kind of take it. Like, yeah. Let me ask you the question. But like, it's keep moving. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's funny. It's not, cute. it's not that deep. But Solis, thank you for tuning in this week. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate everyone coming out to the live show. We're going to post more pictures on, um, I'm going to post them on the website, actually. Post yeah. them on the and I'm site. I'm going to post it at <laughs> Can we get it out? <laughs> Eshaheart.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to post on Instagram as well. Um, thanks, y'all. I love y'all. Um, heart of the week. Um, you, you can do it all by yourself. All right. Have a good day, y'all. I love y'all. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>